this early meta. So I feel like this is going to be a fun one, especially because Ling Ling's one of those players who's always been like ahead of the curve when it comes to what you do with Peach. Starting things off on Pokemon Stadium 2, and uh, we've said multiple times today how this is a pretty solid stage for Palutena. So it's of no surprise to see them start here, but this is our first time getting a chance to see Peach in tonight's stream. I feel like turnips aren't going to find themselves into too many situations in this particular match. Like, Peach has her opportunities to pull them, of course. And there's always the, the rich, rare chance of Mr. Saturn or Bomb finding their way onto the stage. But in general, I feel like a lot of the time that we're going to see Peach um, having any free time, it's going to be to prepare for Palutena trying to find her way somewhere onto the map. Peach is able to cover any type of recovery, fairly safe ways of landing. So much aerial aggression from her kid. And it's even reflected in the early parts of this match as Peach has managed to, uh, a bit more damage onto Jen and vice versa. Hey, what, hey what's up, guys? Wow, okay, so uh, so that turnip gimp, uh, he definitely caught his jump on the first act of free. <laughs> and uh, stage spiked him. Peach got him good. Yeah, no, Peach is OD. Uh, you know, her nair is so plus on shield that if she nairs your shield, she can press a whole other button before you could do anything. That's gross. Wait, excuse me. She'll beat out every single button that's not run away. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, right now, uh, Ling Ling and um, firm control. Shields are fake in this game, man. Yeah, shields are a myth. Um, Sakurai only put it in there um, as a visual. It's and really like Smash 64. People think I'm playing when I compare a lot of this game to that. Smash 64 too? Basically, man. I mean, either way, Jen's still, like, in it. He's just got to end out the stock. <laughs> it's, look at this. Yeah, and dash attack punish, uh, you know, good punish by uh, Jen calling out that landing. And the fair train into Nair? I like it. Yeah, Ling Ling tried to jump out, out of each one of those fairs and just got hit by another fair, so. Everyone's always talking about Nair because it's such an all-encompassing move when it comes to uh, Palutena, but fair is really the one you got to look out for. You see how quick it is and how large the hitbox is despite what it looks like? Yeah, and uh thing about forward air is that it's good, but the Nair is the move that makes people scared. Right. <laughs> so they're going to try to jump and air dodge out of it, being scared of the Nair, but with that being said, um, Ling Ling taking that second stock away from Jens. The fact that he could just beach pop her away for safety is kind of nasty. You, you would expect that move to have a bit more uh, recovery on it. Oh, no, definitely not. It's, it's similar to how it, how it worked in Smash 4, uh, but on steroids. Yeah, and that explosive flame. And maybe Jen um, could go off a little bit, maybe with the Nair that, you know, that we just mentioned. Because that move, you don't really have the space. You kind of just, like, vortex people into it. Yeah. But Ling Ling spacing, um, just keeping himself away from the devastating hits. But, <laughs> but as I say that, it gets hit by a back air at the ledge. And all of a sudden, this match looking a lot more even as far as uh, who can take it. Even though Jen's eating plenty of percentage, like, the start of the match was looking yeah. gruesome. Um, he bounced up. He gets smixed. Okay, so, let me so let's break down what just happened. So he got the turn up, trumped with the turn up. And knowing that he can DI that Trump, he tried to cover the option with the back air and it didn't even matter. It didn't matter. He covered all, he tried to cover all his options. Peach options are crazy. That was wild. And then he got stage spiked by the turn. It was the second time. Jen does not look too happy about that. Yeah, nah, that was, that was definitely something you gotta just reassess the situation, just play it differently. Yeah. He's keeping it on stadium. Um, I don't expect a character switch from either. Oh, yeah. I, I actually have not seen Jen play anyone but Palutena. Um, I think he was playing. I think I think he dropped every other character he was playing. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah. I mean, it's it's clearly worked for him if it's gotten him to this point of the uh, the bracket, and if he's had such such success in the city. But like, this this is looking like the uh, the challenge for him. Dealing with a peach of Ling Ling's level. Is no easy task. Oh no, not at all. And you know, Jen with the beautiful ledge, co ledge coverage, and that lingering up air, Peach just can't land against it. Like, it takes like unique tools in order to try and catch floating, because you need to have really good air mobility in order to do so. 
but like Palu has it in her kit to, to punish questionable position. Yes, Lunar up there, you have Explosive Flame. Ooh, if okay. he landed that, that would have been gruesome. Wow. Yeah, Ling Ling trying to get back that lead pretty fast with that attempt right there, but, you know, no dice. Down there, down smash. Check the gems smash on the ground. Palatina just trying to figure out some sort of way to move in here. I, I feel like Jen is also testing the waters for how to approach this matchup, like, while just trying to play it out regularly. Yeah, and Ling Ling's playing fairly safe. Um, he's not really overextending off of any hits that he has. He just hits Palu and then resets neutrally, and that's been proving very good for him because he's sitting at 157%. Looks like Jen's having a hard time finding that kill move. Oh, that Dada is sending him way off stage. Ooh. Auto cancel Nair to try to grab. Forward air is so strong. Ling Ling going to be taking the lead here and sitting at 163%. Yeah. Far from comfortable, but he's just going to Get it right into the explosive flame. Okay. Just get destroyed by the explosive flame, man. You know, it's just a good option. It's it's safe. Ooh, okay. The coverage with the down air. Okay. Go for the counter. Down throw. Get a couple of fares. All right, now. Good DI from Ling Ling. Option to just jump out of the situation as well. Doesn't want to deal with any of that nonsense. Yeah, and both these characters have a lot of frame traps and strings that they can string together, like uh, especially on the ground with Peach and the air of Palutena. Oh, uh, so you can frame trap with forward air and there in a lot of situations and just kind of trap your limit. Okay. Well, I like how well Jen is placing himself even as he's falling from his advantage state. Like, he's making sure to stay aware of what Ling Ling's looking for when they come out of these interactions. Like, multiple times, Jen has narrowly avoided death. Oh, he died. Yeah, yeah and Ling Ling knew it. He just died for death. Yeah, well, um, good stuff by Jay. You know, just regaining control of this game. Okay, just waiting at the ledge. Ooh, okay. Got the spot size out of shield. That might, that might not be what he wanted. These have been wow, very that, fast scraps. Yeah, that and, that, and that pressure, man. The the float cancel back airs and then into the peach bomber. Peach Bomber is actually sick because not only can it kill as you can clearly see, but the amount of distance that it covers is, makes it such a powerful tool at the ledge. And it's so fast. It's like, uh, I, I don't want to say it's unreactable, but at a certain distance it just seems like semi run reactable. And excuse me, down tilt Nair Nair. <laughs> this so, character is sick. We grab, yo, he did 80, yo, he did like 70% in like 20 seconds. Not even. And that's, that's just the calling card of Peach. She's always been one of those uh, high execution, high payoff kind of characters. But I feel like Ultimate, at least at this stage of the game, really highlights that factor about this character. Where if you put in the effort to figure out her chains, how to move with her, and like, you see what pays off from good decision making, she's just relentless. And uh, the way that Ling Ling is just taking these options that Jen is throwing at him and surviving, it's just he's avoiding every single kill move at the ledge. And uh, Jens, he's trying to space with these back airs, but Ling Ling is having none of it, and then this tech into forward air. Taking it. All right. GG's. I, I wouldn't say it was a convincing 2-0, but it was definitely a brutal one, because every time Ling was in control, look at, look at the damage it dealt. Look at everything Peach can do. Yeah, man. I mean, it was hard fought, and... Um, Peach is one of those characters, if you miss a tech near the ledge, man, you're just gonna, you're gonna get whacked by something, whether it be forward air, nair, back air.